At this point, we want to start making some concrete preparations for the cutover to Office 365. A key step that often gets overlooked is the modification or creation of an SPF record. What the SPF record does is tell the receiving email system where your emails should be coming from. So if a foreign email system receives an email from shellpublishing.com or a user at shellpublishing.com, what it does is it for that email, it looks at the SPF record in DNS and confirms that the IP address or host name that sent that email is legitimate and then it allows that email to come through. If it checks that SPF record in public DNS and there's a mismatch and the IP address or host name is not included in the SPF record, then it's going to reject that email more often than not. Since we're going to have users living both on-prem and in the cloud for some amount of time during the period of coexistence, we need to make sure that not only is the on-prem exchange server or spam filter, depending on how the on-prem email system is set up, we need to make sure that not only are those included in the SPF record, but that we also add Office 365 to that SPF record because when a user gets moved to Office 365, mails will be going out of Office 365 for those users. And if you don't update the SPF record, what's going to happen is some of those mails coming from users in Office 365 are going to be rejected by foreign systems. As you can see here, I'm on my domain controller on-prem. So what I'm going to do is bring up the GoDaddy domain manager here. So what I have here is the public DNS for shellpublishing.com. If I scroll down here, I don't see a record for SPF on the first page. So we'll click on the second page and see if we have it here. And here is our SPF record for shellpublishing.com. Essentially what this record is doing is telling foreign email systems that if an email comes from the MX record for this domain or from the public IP of the mail server to allow the email to go through. What we have to do here is we need to include Office 365 as well. Now we don't want to eliminate these records that are already mentioned because then on-prem users are going to have problems. So what we need to do is add an include statement that includes spf.protection.outlook.com to this record. Now what I like to do is use the SPF record generator from MX Toolbox to make these changes. So what I've done here is launch the SPF record generator from the mxtoolbox.com website. What I can do is provide my domain name here and then click check SPF record and it's going to give me what my current SPF record is and it's also going to provide a way for me to create a properly formed SPF record that includes my Office 365 environment. I'll then take that information and add it back into my public DNS. So let's go ahead and plug in my email domain here and click check SPF record. So what it's done is identify my current record. And what this is telling me is foreign email systems should accept emails only if they come from my currently configured MX record or from the public IP address of my on-prem exchange server. I need to add Office 365 to this. So what I'm going to do here is just walk through the wizard. Uh, do we send mail from a web server? No, we're not doing that. Do we send email from our MX records? Yes. Now in the box for any other server host name or domain, this is intended for marketing companies, for example, maybe like Constant Contact. If you have marketing emails that go out on your behalf, this is where you would typically put them. You could also put in here any kind of monitoring system that you're using. 
but we're not doing that right now based on our existing SPF, so we're going to leave this blank. What I need to also do is add my public IP address back in because our users on-prem are still going to be sending emails. And then we'll add our Office 365 information in. And then depending on your policy, you can set it to be really strict, neutral, or soft fail. Right now, we're actually set to soft fail, so we'll leave it at soft fail. So what happens now, it creates a properly formed SPF record that includes everything we need down at the bottom here. So I'll take this information, go up into my public domain manager, and replace my value for my SPF record and save it. Multiple SPF records are not supported. So while you might be tempted to create a second SPF record that includes your Office 365 information, that's not a supported configuration. You need to add it all into a single SPF record. So with that said, our SPF record now includes our Office 365 information.